Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class John Blair, and this is the clarinet. It looks very similar to the oboe, um, but it's got a pretty big difference. Instead of the double reed, we've just got one single reed there that we put on the mouthpiece. And that's actually what produces the sound when the reed vibrates, and then it gets the air vibrating all the way through, and that's how you get the sound on the clarinet. So a little bit different than what you've seen so far with the flute and the oboe. Similar concept with the oboe, obviously. But um, some of you guys, I'm not sure, I feel like SpongeBob SquarePants and his friend Squidward gave the clarinet a bad name. Um, because Squidward plays the clarinet, but it sounds something like this. Right? And that's not what it should sound like. It should sound much better than that. Should get a really nice sound. Uh, it can play like the um, like Kasumi was saying with the flute. It can play beautiful melodies and a little bit fast. It can play slower melodies. Uh, this is by Mozart. It can also do a bunch of different uh, folk music, klezmer, it can do jazz. I originally wanted to play the saxophone, and my band director told me that I should stick with the clarinet, learn the clarinet, and then I could switch over, and that's what I did. But the clarinet actually gets to do some jazz stuff too. This is Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue right at the beginning. That's a clarinet. Talk about what it's like to be in the clarinet section with um, how many people you have in your section. We, it, it fluctuates a little bit, but we have between 11 and 14 players in our section. Um, I am one of four players that play the second part, and then we have another three or four on first, and another four, three or four on third part, and then we have a couple bass clarinet players and an E-flat player. So there are a lot of us. And our job is a little bit different than most of the other instruments you, you see today because we actually have to really try to blend and we don't want to stick out. We don't want, uh, want our sound to pop out over anybody else's. Um, so it's a little bit different. It's a really fun job. And when you do it well, it can sound amazing. So that's a little bit about playing in the section.